So your question is about these two string shapes, okay? Um, whether it's pentatonic or, you know, a mode or whatever, okay. So, and you mentioned that you have a, you can play it fast the first couple of times and then as it repeats, it slows down. Yes. Okay, that's happening because of tension. It, the tension is coming in, you're getting fatigued because you, you're tense, and that's causing you to, to slow down, okay? So here's what I'm gonna suggest we do. Uh, let's take this pentatonic thing here. Let's, let's pretend we're in uh, B minor. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these four notes here. So try this. Play it and then. Okay. It actually stopped. Okay. Okay. So, the reason why we're going to stop it is we're going to give your body a chance to release that pressure, release the tension. If you keep going, then the tension starts to build up. And it builds up gradually, and you tend to not notice it until you're really getting fatigued and tired. If you stop, now you have a chance to relax, kind of reset your tension, your body, and then start again. Here, here I can give you another a variation of this. Try that. And the same thing if you were doing, you know, let's say something from here. Just stop so that the tension doesn't build. And sometimes you might have to stop longer. Stop as long as it takes until you feel you reset. Okay. okay. And then you can do it two at a time. Four. You know, whatever. So that it it stops. Your attention stops and you can reset. Okay. Okay. When you keep going, the, the tension builds gradually. You don't even realize it until, oh, I'm tired, it's slow, I don't know why. Okay. It's, it's, it, you, it's just about becoming aware, and this, is, this will help you to become aware that, yeah, I'm tense, because I, when you relax, put it this way, if you were not overly tense when you relaxed, you wouldn't notice much. If you notice a lot, that tells you a lot of tension was already starting to build. If you don't notice much when you stop, that means there wasn't that much tension or unnecessary tension building. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, the, a lot of sense. Yeah, the more you feel relaxed when you stop, the more that's an indicator that there was a lot of tension there. And if you can't really tell when you just repeat it one time, then repeat it two times. Or three or four or whatever. But there shouldn't be this massive, oh. I mean, you do want to relax, but if there's this massive difference, then that tells you you need to relax more while you're playing. Okay. Okay. Is that helpful? That is very helpful. All right. Very good. Thanks, Thank Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. If you like my videos on YouTube, you'll love my personalized breakthrough guitar lessons. I'm going to show you exactly how to transform your guitar playing from being just sort of okay or pretty good to being really awesome, even if you feel stuck right now with your playing or are having some self-doubts. So imagine how much better your guitar playing will become when you know exactly what to do and exactly how to practice. And you have the guidance and roadmap to get you there.
But I've done this for thousands of people over the years all around the world. Now, if you're willing to do the work, if you're going to follow what I teach you, follow what I'm telling you to do, and if you practice at least 30 minutes a day on the stuff that I teach you, I'm absolutely certain I can help you become the guitar player you want to be. Now, unlike other lessons out there on the internet, you're not going to get a bunch of generic cookie cutter lessons from me. You get lessons customized to you, who you are, what your goals are, your challenges, your strengths, your weaknesses, your learning style, experience, frustrations, and most importantly, who you want to become as a guitar player. So check out my Breakthrough Guitar Lessons at tomhess.net forward slash guitar and see if they're right for you. I'll see you on the other side.